Hello and welcome to Bitcoin Airsoft. So today I'm going to talk about the Quiet AVS and I'm also going to talk about my AVS setup for Airsoft. So AVS stands for Adaptive Fast System. So you can pretty much build the whole fast from scratch. You can choose different plates, you can just choose different camera buttons and the front pouch, the shoulder strap, the harness if you want it or not, the side armor pouch. So it's a bit here and there and you just make a whole combination to your own leggings. So starting from the plates, so between the standard plates, the swimmer cut and the NBA feet. Personally, I like the swimmer cut because of the deeper cuts on the side so I can get a better arms movement. So here I have a medium sized swimmer cut plate. And as for the plate insert, right now I'm using a PTS medium side plate because it is a spongy soft insert. So even though this shape is a little bit different than the swimmer cut, but I can kind of fit it in here. And before that, I was using the Emerson plate, and I have cut the plates into the swimmer cut, but that one is a little bit too thick and too hard, and it makes it a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm switching to the PDS one, and it's very comfortable, and it works pretty well so far. And then on the admin pouch, I have put the AXL admin pouch zipper. So just a easier access instead of having to you know get the velcro undone and done, which is a little bit noisy and a little bit hard to get sometimes. So in the zipper, usually I put my cell phone in here, and currently I'm hiding my headset inside just as a protection for the headset. And then I got my backup badge, and then this is the PTD from Invisio X50, and I have a scissors here for cosplay. I don't really need or use it. And for my fun flaps, I have the new Quai elastic stretchable flaps where I put three magazine in here and under I have the fail dangler and inside I actually put my older speed loader and a and a has key for adjusting the hop up and below another cosplay item I have the cat tourniquet and it is helped by the blue force gear tourniquet holder so on top currently I have the quiet shoulder pad and originally the harness came with a elastic tube shaped shoulder pads and that one is not convenient if you want to weave like wire or tubes under the pad so I've got this trifold kind and it also has a little bit of padding under so it makes it a little bit more comfortable and just a reminder that the harness width is a lot wider than the standard shoulder pads so then Originally, I bought a ferro one, but it couldn't fit in the harness, so I'm using their own. And there's also a solar pad by AXL, but that one is a lot more expensive, and I just went with the quiet one. And between the two plates, I have the harness installed, and the harness works very well for sharing the loading of the carrier. So EVS to me is more of a heavy loading carrier, which I can put everything in here. And previously, I have done the Tempest Gear LPCBC, which is a very light profile vest, which I can like. I only intend to put a few max on the carrier, and then I've also done review on the JVC 2.0, which is a medium loading. I can put a few max and put a radio and some of the stuff that I use on field. And AVA is my like heaviest loading. I put I pretty much put everything that I will I might need and into the vest in here. And with this amount of weight and with the harness, I can pretty much wear this whole day without feeling a lot of pain on my shoulders. So the harness works very well, but there's a funny design issue that I'm going to talk about in a bit. So I'll just take off the single strap common ones and the harness. And this harness and this harness part here is quite stiff and quite hard and this one can withstand a lot of weight. And so I would say I would want every pouch on the harness instead of a cummerbund for the harness goes through to the strap in here but if you're just putting it in here then you have nothing to secure it in place and in the menu they have two ways you can either stick the harness in here and use this flap as a cummerbund and stick it on the front or you can loop the flap here and you can velcro the strap like this but this way is kind of hard to do when you're putting the press on but although it's the most secure and the funny design that I was talking about is that if I insert the harness in here 
and you forget a let's say three comments on top and put it in front if I have the flat pouch on harness the comment point will block the outside so I can really flip the pouch to access whatever I have in here so right now you can see I have a single strap comment point I have one under the pouch so even when I put the front strap on the front I can still access the flat pouch on the side so on my right side here I have the quiet 556762 pouch and inside I carry a tornado 2 in games that you, I can use grenade if in games that I cannot use a grenade I'll either put nothing in here or I'll put two more mags in here so I can have a separate mag configuration and I, and I don't have to reload magazine as much and in the center I always keep this empty so I can get my white arm as tight on my body as possible so I won't have the trigger ring sticking out when I'm looking at the corner and at the back there's a Bufo Skier Bufo Pouch and inside just put simple first aid stuff that you may usually use in airsoft game which is like band-aids, alcohol pads and sterling water and further back I have a mosquito repair machine this, this is by Thermocell and at the back I have the Zippack 1.0 before I have the Zippack 2.0 but I found the 2.0 is a little bit too big for me the only difference between the 1.0 and the 2.0 is that the 2.0 has a velcro section underneath so you can velcro at the back panels in here so it doesn't jack the pad down when, you, when you're carrying a lot of weight and the second difference is that the 2.0 has a longer bottom because it has two horizontal back pouch that you can use but I found the 2.0 a little bit too big and the 1.0 is perfect for what I'm using and inside I actually put a hydration pouch and in here it is a source 3 liters but I think a 2 liters, two liters one would fit a, a bit better as you can see here the 3 liters one is a little bit taller I think a 2 liter one will work fine and currently I'm filling up the water up to here so it's about 2, eat, two liter ish and beside the hydration pouch I actually put a some kind of muscle pain reliever spray but I couldn't really find it because I'm in the middle of a moving house so so let's pretend this is a muscle spray so my hydration pouch I want the tube underneath the shoulder pads and in here I should put it inside the vest so it beforehand I have a little device that I can clip on the tube but sometimes when I'm moving the Wi-Fi around something it locks locks the tube out and it will flap somehow so usually I just put it inside in my body and I will just take it out when I need water so going over this side in here I have the quiet GP pouch and this is the 6x6 and inside I have the source UTA so this is a quick review system where I can just switch off the head here and I stick a water bottle I invert it and the water will go back in here so I don't have to take out the hydration bladder to refill water and then I have a another mosquito repellent because there are a lot of mosquito in Hong Kong so I actually get two mosquito repellent things but I still get by so and I have the refill of the burst disc for the innovation for the airsoft innovation XL burst and then a extra popping and a mosquito repellent pads for the thermocell and I also usually put my wallet and keys in here and in here this is the blue horse gear 40 millimeters grenade pouch so one of them I've put the airsoft innovation XL burst and it fits perfectly in the 40 mm grenade pouch and the other one is my Leatherman multi tool so just in case I need a tool for you know a quick fix or tightening or loosening something on my Wi-Fi. and here I have the SNS enhanced video pouch and I have the TCA 152 but in here this one sits a little bit too high so I'm currently considering changing to the quiet 152 as I was re-watching one of the Golden Thumb video he was using the 152 quiet pouch and the video on him kind of in the left same level as the magazine so so if the video can get down a little bit lower it won't interfere with my left arm movement as much so this is for my APS setup for airsoft so let me know in the comment section on your own setup and whether you think I have overdone some of this setup on here or you you have any kind of recommendation on adding or not taking out some of the attachment that I have. So stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.